Hello! Remember when I said we were going to keep playing Team Escapes? Well, yeah, that's what we're doing. So. Hurry! We are doing... I already forgot to look at the title, even though it was just on the screen, so I don't remember what it's called. It's the other E-Class Team Escape, um, not originally featured in Need for Speed World, and now it is, or at least on the WUGG server. Um, let's see. Yeah, I'm not as not as clear on this one. I'm really hoping I get through it because I'm real pretty fairly confident most times I can get through the team escapes from the original days of Need for Speed World. And these, I believe, were made by, well, community members. And then somehow implemented. I'm not sure how they did any of that. But here we go. And we're going to hopefully make our way through it. So something I've been thinking about recently that I'm curious if anyone has anything to say on. I have, for most of my vehicles, unless I want to make them specialize in something, a go-to set of the five skill mods I want my cars to have. So that they're... Oh, golly! Okay. Mm -mm, hang on. We'll get back to that in a moment. Uh, okay. I think we're good. So, I normally give each car I use the five same skill mods so that it is pretty well rounded for most events except drag events I really don't care for them so with those left out I use if I can think while I'm racing at the same time uh, cop radar which may seem unnecessary but just for pursuits and team escapes I do like being able to see a little bit of what's coming up it does help me predict things a little maybe more so in actual pursuits if I'm going all over the map and I'm trying to make good turns and such. Uh, collision Force, because it's a little bit helpful in races, help you stand your ground with, you know, people ramming you real hard. Um, and of course for Team Escapes, Pursuits, it's just, it's great. I think it's a great baseline, it's not related to power-ups. Um, so it really just helps give you that little extra oomph, like in this moment, because I don't want to run over with spikes! Okay, okay. Alright, we're good. And use Team Slingshot. So yeah, Cop Radar, Collision Force, um, and then the other three things... WHY IS THERE A HELICOPTER?! Yeah, what? What? Was there was two of them?! Did that actually... was that... Okay. Alright, I'm not gonna ask anymore. Anyway, back to whatever we were talking about. Skill mods. I think I was gonna say that the other three... Oh, no. I did lie. There is one more pursuit-related focused skill mod. I do like uh, pursuit evasion time. Even though I posted that video about having a why are there roadblocks made of normal cars? What? Oh my gosh! Okay. okay let's, let's see if I can even in the next 7,200 feet get through the rest of the statement. Pursuit evasion time, I think, is just wonderful to have on any vehicle. And there's another helicopter in the roadblock. Let's try to hit it this time. Does it even have colli- It's invincible. Okay, that's not helpful. We're gonna go backwards to try to buy some time. Might also help me buy time with my silly explanation about skill mod choices. Oh, please live. Please live. Please live. Please live. Oh my gosh. Okay. Pursuit evasion time, I just think, is handy, especially if you're getting in a real tight spot in a pursuit. And then I use nitrous power, because duration just messes me up, because if it's too long of a nitrous blast, I just usually end up getting to a corner and blasting into a wall. And uh, perfect start duration. I'm pretty good at hitting perfect start almost every time, so I don't need, like, the RPM meter enhancement. Um, I think having that initial blast of quite a good few, you know, seconds or, you know, two or three seconds or whatever it totals out to be uh, really helps set you up good for a race. So, now that we've concluded our event, tell me in the comments if you care to what your go-to is for every car or if you just specialize every vehicle. Um, yeah, do that. Or don't. Bye-bye!